everyone and welcome. I, I just, you know, I was still working. It's 7.30 at night, Eastern time, and I happened to notice this in the last 10 minutes. It's, it's almost like the Mexico thing where I was sitting here and I was working, and that happened between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. I don't remember the exact time, but this is like 10 minutes worth of trading, people. So anyways, Trump is going to delay tariffs, and that is what is creating the lift in the market. So let's go point by point by point. Here we are at the queues. I mean, this is so close, so close to the previous highs, 195.55, and tonight we're up high was 194.19. Let's just let's just look at it all. Two seventy three ninety nine. Wow, hey, this is like pennies. No, nope. we're over the highs almost. Wow, look at that. Three hundred two twenty three. Four hundred fifty cent after hours. You know, I, 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 I mean, if we do it, which we we could do it. I mean, we look like we're going to do it tomorrow. We look like we're going to gap up. It's so far away from the open, but I will say this one very, very important thing. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna point to the big banks in the US. I mean they're up tonight, but I mean here's Goldman Sachs. It's nowhere near the highs. And we're gonna look at Wells Fargo. Nowhere near the highs. And we're gonna look at Citibank. We're gonna, we're gonna look at them all. We're gonna look at every single one. Nowhere near the highs. And we're gonna look at Bank of America. And that's fine, hold on, let me see. No, nowhere near the highs. Just... It's, the, it's, it's, I don't wanna say it's impossible, but it's low odds low odds that the market will hit up over the high. Yep, that was 2018. That's more than a year ago. Yeah, yeah the, the strongest bank actually is JP Morgan Chase. And that's, you know, the last high was still 2018. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, I know this may not make any sense, but it's better, better long term for the market, long term for a hold, something to stick and hold on to and stick, stick, stick. If the if if the market would hold, hold and then rally over the high for a period and then hold over the high. If we get over the high, which we are almost over after hours tonight, it's 734. We could be over the high tomorrow morning in the pre-market. I don't think it holds. Remember back in the month of July before we had this basing in August, we hit up over the high a few times and we didn't hold and we dropped and we fell. It is stronger and longer of a hold for the market to hold and not go over the highs and wait and then break out stronger and firmer with real information rather than tweets or semi-information or nuances or guesses of what's going to happen in the future with the tariff situation and many other things than it is for us to break out so i don't see a, a stick a hold a hold that's a, i don't know how to describe it i can't show you my face right now but like the best thing way that i could possibly describe it is like if you grabbed onto something like a rope and you held it this is not a strong hold for the market if we hit up over the highs here this is not what I would consider something that I would want to go long into and hold, hold, hold and have 100% conviction. But it looks like we're going to hit up over the high. Part of it was Apple rallying the last two days, but now this news that China may do something or pull back on the tariffs, again, that, that has nothing to do with a deal being done. And when a deal is done, a deal is done, and I would see the market making a lift at that point that we are nowhere near that point, nowhere near at all. And I'm telling you right now, this will be a false breakout. If people go along it, it would be a false breakout that wouldn't have enough of a lift. It doesn't mean you don't trade it for a, a short-term day trade, 
if you want to do that, if that's what you do, then fine. But man, this is going to add to the volatility in the next four to six weeks. We're coming into earnings season, September, October. And, you know, I, I would have preferred to see a hold in the basing pattern in August into the into the beginning of September, into the middle of September, into the end of September till earnings season broke out. When you feel like you have earnings that are, in fact, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna look at Apple right now, actually. Wow, this is, this is just gonna add to the volatility. I mean, it's, I mean, this is gonna hit the target of 225, but then after that, what? 225, it's, it's basically there. Oh my gosh, this is just gonna add to the trickiness of people. 230, 233, 230. I just, you know. Again, it depends what your time horizon is. Short term, long term, whatever it is. But this is this this breakout is gonna lift the entire market indices, and then it's gonna lift some stocks, not all, but some, and then it's gonna be like a fake out. It's the best way I can describe it. I have no idea where we open tomorrow, but there's no real information here that you can sink your teeth into. So, you know, if you ran a hedge fund and you had $100 million under management, would you go long this year? You know, that's, you know, that's my two cents on that. That we're, I mean, we're, we're back up to the highs here in the market. I just have no conviction this holds. So it would have been better for the market to base out and then rally and then break out and hold. And if we if we break out here, I don't think it holds. So just like in July. That's my two cents. So have a great night, everyone, and good luck and be very careful. I would trade specific stocks, specific, specific, specific stocks that are gapping for one reason or another. And that's what I would focus on. Good luck, everyone.